Today we're going to be talking about the Zenodai Aeon battery, which is an LTO, uh, which is basically a lithium titanate oxide, uh, which is a titanium oxide based battery. Um, I've been really excited about these for a very long time. I, I read an article on this back in 2012 from the University of New South Wales, which I'll put the link down below in the video so you can watch it yourself. They did some testing. And um, yeah, so I'm pretty excited about this. So with the LTOs, um, this is an Australian company. They've received some funding uh, about three years ago to really get this battery going. They really get to take some traction in the Australian market. Um, like I said, I've been excited for a very long time about it. So the biggest difference with LTOs is uh, they're quite a larger battery um, compared to a typical lithium. Uh, for us as a business, we specialize in installing off-grid and hybrid solar systems. And off-grid, the size is not really an option issue because we're dealing with big farm sheds uh, with normally a space and I suppose we're dealing with lead acid batteries which take up a lot of room. Where these LTOs don't, um, we'll get into that. But basically, they get a 22,000 cycle life, uh, a 20 year warranty, uh, which is pretty crazy. So for 20 years, um, this battery is going to be warranted from an Australian company, uh, which is great. They really handle the heat. Um, what we've actually found in some installations we've done is, you know, we supply Australia wide, and a lot of our installations we've done up in the northern rivers of New South Wales and uh, southeast Queensland is that the batteries actually hold have more capacity um, when they're a little bit hotter, so you get more out of the battery and what's actually stated on the battery. So. They say you can cycle in three cycles a day and you can, they'll warrant it 100% depth of discharge. So you can use 100% of the battery and they're one of the safest technologies out in the marketplace. So for those of you guys into the specs, um, you know, for the size, they're 1.6 meters high and they're about 15 centimeters wide. Um, so they do take up, in the, I suppose, what Aeon done the way they design these batteries, you can actually sort of just whack them on a wall. Um, which makes it great. A bit like this, this is halfway through an installation photo the boys are doing at the moment this week for us. They've just whacked them up on the wall, out of the way there, um, and we're using the Victron and Solar Edge in this system off-grid here. Um, so yeah, so you can just whack them on the wall, which sort of eliminates that, um, that space issue um, of not, not being uh, that energy dense. So the way I also like to think about it, that if you had a iPhone with an LTO type battery in it, um, it would be four times bigger to get the same amount of usable power out of that same phone. So that's sort of how, how the, the size difference. And that's why lithium, I suppose, has won the race over the years. Um, it's sort of more of a lithium with the NMC technology, that nickel manganese cobalt, um, or the, the LiPo 4s. They've really won that race because they're a lot more energy dense than something like an LTO. Uh, but the downside of that is longevity. So most, if you anyone that's owned an iPhone or a smartphone or you know, after about six months, that battery is just hammered and you really don't get the same usable power out of it that you did like when you first got it. So um, that's the downside with LTO, with the lithium based batteries, really energy dense is you get a lot of energy in a small space, but the longevity of it is not uh, there. And I think there's a real game changer when it comes to that sustainability um, from the lithium sort of based batteries with the LTOs. Yep, 1.6 meters high, about 15 centimeters round, and they've actually, a, a, BMS, so they've got their own internal, so an unmanaged battery, their own internal battery management system. So that means for you as an install, as an installer or a, um, a homeowner, when you have these batteries installed, it's really hard to get it wrong with the settings. So if your installer doesn't set the installation, the programming right, um, it can kill your batteries. And basically, we've had so many people over the years come into the shop and said, "Hey, I brought these last batteries. You know, in 12 months' time, they've died." And every time we go out and have a look, um, lead acid batteries is the most common battery that I suppose dies because it is the number one installed battery in the world is the reality with a lead based battery. There are so many different settings for different types of batteries and most installers just throw them in and think, oh, they're a lead based battery, leave the standard settings and never change it to the correct charge perimeters. And if a lead acid battery doesn't get charged properly, it dies. So these new lithium based batteries with all the battery management systems are built in, which is great. And what's really good about this having its own internal BMS with no communications is it's very flexible to use in installation. So, you know, as you see, you can be used with the Victron product. We're a really big fan of the Victron gear. Um, and also it can be used with uh, products like this with the Redback. So this is an Australian product from the Queensland University. Uh, we've got another video about that there. We'll, I'll just leave in the link below. 
that basically this is the inverter up top, this is all the switch gear, and these are all the batteries down the bottom of a rack mounted type battery. If you're using the LTOs, you just wouldn't have this part in your um, system. So you just use this top part of this inverter. So they're very flexible, the unmanaged batteries, to be able to talk to pretty much any inverter, um, like any 48 volt inverter that these guys will work with. So uh, they're really flexible. So yeah, we're pretty excited about the AM batteries. Um, that we're using in the off-grid situation. And even now we start using them a lot in our hybrid solutions for our customers that actually have the grid available. Uh, and like I said, 22,000 cycle, 20 year warranty from an Australian company. Uh, I'm pretty excited about these batteries and um, I'm looking forward to installing more and, and seeing how they go in the next few years. So really appreciate watching guys. And if you haven't already, if you can like the video and share it, it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And if you're into anything that be powered by solar 24 hours a day, that's what we're all about here. Subscribe so you don't miss, any, don't miss out on anything. So thanks, guys. Have a great day.